What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video on this one today. We're talking Techno Parrot and we're gonna do some gameplay. So on my uh, so on my hyperspin drive, uh, Techno Parrot is under the Sega Ring Edge. Um, that's probably the best way to know it. So Sega Ring Edge is Techno Parrot. So basically we could just go into Techno Parrot, Sega Ring Edge, and we have all the games here. Uh, big thing I forgot to quote on this is that um, most of these are driving games, shooting games, and um, they do require the Xbox controller actually to work. Um, some games do use the arcade sticks, but majority of them are either Xbox controllers or shooting games, such as Luigi's Mansion um, and uh, House of the Dead 4. So right now the big thing that we're doing for Eugene is that we're waiting for aim track guns to come in. Um, so for right now, I'll probably be able to use the mouse for the shooting games. Uh, but again, we'll do the same thing. We'll do five minutes of gameplay. Uh, just keep in mind again, you have about maybe 70 games uh, under this wheel. Not all of them work. The big difficult thing with Techno Parrot is that they keep doing updates and releases, and every time there's an update, it, the game works one day, and then once they update it, the game no longer works. It's a headache. Again, like I said, Techno Parrot is just a big headache. Uh, for example, Batman, I, it used to work, now it doesn't. So if I press the launch button for this, it didn't launch. It, it's, it's not doing anything on that. So. Uh, just keep that in mind. I will possibly remove that from the list, but I don't want to give up on it and not think that I can't get it to work. Um, so again, we're going to do some gameplay. Most of the driving ones, I do want to start off with Fast and the Furious. As again, as you can see here, we do have one, two, three, four, five. There's five Fast and the Furious games, and I believe I only got three of them to work well. So let's go down the list real quick. So this is the Fast and the Furious number one. Not many video files, the video files are kind of pointless to be honest. And again, the driving games do need um, the uh, Xbox controller. So as you can see there, it was one button press, let it do its thing, it's gonna load up. And I right now will have my, basically my Xbox controller start up. Um, tutorial will come later on, as you can see, I turn on the controller after the game launched and I am able to at least play this one. So let's just see how this goes. LA Ghetto. Choose transmit. Automatic. Choose car. Skyline. Choose upgrade. Nitrous.
vast angle that I was sitting at. I couldn't really see much, so let's do one more race. That was pretty good. So again, this is Fast and Furious 1. Um, you could like reassign um, the, uh, the controller buttons for the gas. I have gas set to A and brake set to B. I mean, some people might like the triggers. I'll do that in a different tutorial. It's really easy to do. It's all within Techno Pirates, so it's not that difficult. Uh, also forgot to mention, you might see in the video, like, this is brighter here. Uh, that is in, uh, that, I do that in Premiere, so you can actually see my hands and stuff. Choose track. Central Park. So I'm right now using Choose my Y. Spoiler. Start one more. Double tap the gas, and on a turn, you do the same thing. Double tap. Well, I'm not doing good at all. So again, I right now, I can't exit. Uh, the only way to exit is that you will have to grab your keyboard and escape out. Again, for some reason, it's not recognizing my Zinmo, um, so it doesn't really work that way. <laughs> Just a quick thing to notice right now, like um, I have the Xbox controller on, but it's actually still reading the joystick. Um, so that's fine. Uh, sometimes hyperspin might get confused but I started hyperspin with the joysticks on and Joy to Key never exited, so it's a-okay. Uh, let's do the next one, which is Fast and Furious Drift. Again, one button, just the green button, and then just let it load. Uh, I know somebody's gonna probably say, hey Vic, you did that with Batman and it never loaded. That I know. Again, I don't remember which exact games worked or not. Um, so for right now, it looks like Fast and Furious Drift is a no. That's just real quick, just to double check, you just press Windows, and yeah, there's nothing loading here, so Fast and Furious Drift is a no-go. So again, I, I just wanna go down the list. So Fast and Furious Drift, let's try it one more time. It looks like Hyperspin jumped. If you can see here, player one, Joystick 2 is lighting up. If I go here now, yeah, see, it took my Xbox controller as player 1 now. Um, again, if anything, to avoid that, I should have taken the batteries out of the controller. Again, this is something that can never really be fixed. We're, we're confusing the system. 
Um, but again, right now, player one went to joystick two. My Xbox controller is now player one. Um, so basically what I do to get to this, um, you just hit the Windows key on your keyboard and then on the bottom right, I'll do it real quick just to show you, Windows key, you go here to your um, kind of a tray. If I get my mouse, that's great. And then you right click here and then you do open main window and you kind of see here um, basically what it is. So right now with the Xbox controller, my R2 is escape. Um, let's see what I could do for enter is long pressed on A. Okay, so we could do right now, I can escape. I could use the Xbox controller now that I know it. Try it again. So we'll do drift. So I'm doing long press, everything's running. Let's see what happens. So you can see here like Techno Parrot is running. Let's see what happens. Okay, so actually Tokyo uh, Drift actually boots. Um, I guess again, because joystick number two wasn't recognized, uh, joystick one wasn't recognized uh, to press enter. Again, it, it kind of sucks that way. I hate to do it that way, but there's really no way around it. Um, but for right now, let's load up some Fast and Furious Drift. Let's see how this plays. So again, same thing. We could use the Xbox controller on this. And it will go through its regular loading stuff, just like you see here. Just This is how really when, you know, the actual arcade cabinet would actually boot up. So I could do hold start to abort timer. See that? Now it's like, in all honesty, with this calibrating, you do want to hold the steering wheel. Um, so I'm actually holding, you can see here on the right, calibration good, and now we're ready. So I'm going to go with the D-pad to select. Auto. Manual works, I haven't really tested it, but I believe the triggers are set for the shifting. So I know for a fact this drift one, I think it just I think it just exited. Yep. So it's not a bad thing. Luckily now at least we know what's happening with our Xbox controller, how we know how it'll work. So I could basically hold down A. It's a long press. Let's try it again one more time. That it's happened, but I've actually gotten into a game of drift. Um, but something happens with like the girl doesn't move. So again, I, I want to do this live so we see it. Pick a track. I believe it's something with this because we have a lot of credits in so I don't think like I think like if you just kind of leave it as nitro let's just see what happens I've yet to crack the code on this it just exited again you can just tell the screen turns off I'm gonna do it one more time and like I said this is the one kind of headache with techno parrot um, I had it working. I think I'm gonna try a different track. Uh, let's see if that does anything. Like I said, I've been playing around with it so much. Let's try this. Choose your transmission. Automatic transmission. Pick your car. Uh, I I won't do the skyline. Let's just try a different car, maybe. I don't want to do all the things. Like I said, you gotta sit here and trial and error. No, I just exited. I definitely got drift to work one time. I remember that's what upsets me. So now we just got a little bit of a warning screen that just popped up. I'm gonna hit the Windows key. Again, I don't want to fool anybody. I don't want you know people to think that this is seamless. Gotta see what that says now. So Techno Parrot seems to already be running. Do you want to close it? Yes. Try it one more time. Pick a track. San Francisco. Choose your transmission. Automatic transmission. Pick your ride. Viper. Customize your car. I'm gonna do no customizing. No. So as you can see, Tokyo Drift, something happens with Drift, it exits out. Next. Super bikes. 
So again, I'm using the Xbox controller now because it, it is initiated, it, it's launched as that. So holding down A, and it looks like uh, R, uh, R2 here is uh, back. So here's one game, for example, see Superbikes? It's literally launched tiny. There's no, as of right now, there's no, um, Select track. there's no way really to get it to work correctly. Uh, Sturgis, choose your transmission. I know I had this. Automatic see. transmission, select bike. Oh, this is one that it actually ZX needed, damn it. Trick it needed it the keyboard to be able to select. But leaning works with the joystick, that's what's weird. See here, lean to select. This works in game, but for you to pick stuff, you do have to like, Neon. use the keyboard. So, see? I actually wanted to show you uh, a real quick thing. So I'm gonna use the Xbox controller for now. I even have TechnoParrot on the um, taskbar because again, I was currently working on it. See, we keep getting like updates. And again, that's kind of like what sucks about doing these updates. But real quick, just to show you, uh, Fast and the Furious, so the Fast and the Furious, we just did Superbikes 1. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hello. Fast and Furious Superbikes. Just to show you the game settings. Oh, this was wet windowed. Interesting. Might have to redo this video. Let's see what happens. See, control is set up. We got. Let's launch the game real quick. It shouldn't have been in windowed. If it wasn't in windowed, it'd be full screen. And that's the issue, yes. Okay, now I remember why I had this. See when I went to full screen? It just, it doesn't, this is what happens. It's just stuck, nothing's happening. So I'm gonna escape out on the keyboard. And that is why I have it as windowed. Um, again, game settings, windowed. And that's it. There are different as da Damien things. Uh, some people have it set to HD. But no, for this Superbikes one, as you can see, you just saw before the game didn't even launch. It just enlarged the screen, nothing happened, but we do have the game launching. So again, unless they get an update for that, that was Superbikes. 
So I'm real quick going back into hyperspin. And again, because I have the Xbox controller on, this is player one, this went to joystick two. So for now, I'm really aiming to do all the driving games on this one, at least for now. So let's keep going with Fast and Furious. So we did Drift, we have Super Bikes two. I hold down. So basically techno pads are burning in the background. This one looks good, we got a full screen on this. Again, this is Super Bikes 2. So same thing with this, it looks like I'm gonna need the keyboard or not. Interesting, let's see, lean bike. Oh, okay, no, I don't need the keyboard actually. Just needed a second to load up, I guess. I'm gonna bump the volume a little bit. Engine. So Super Bikes 2, full screen on this. Tron bike? What the hell? Alright, so that's Super Bikes 2. Not bad. I actually like the game plan on that. That was very smooth. Uh, very shocked with that one. So again, as of right now, I'm gonna have to go. Even maybe no, I even have hyperspin set this as escape, and as you can see, it's not even escaping out. So this one right here, we didn't need the keyboard to go and navigate the screen, so we're good. I'm gonna escape out. I think there's one more Fast and Furious game. Yeah, Fast and Furious Supercar. So again, I'm gonna hold down A, that's my enter button. I'm gonna let it go. Might have made this a, no, we won't make it as a two part. I just wanna start with Fast and Furious because I know for a fact that like some games work good. So here we go, full screen. Let's do this, take a track. You can see the, the volume on Superbikes 2 is not as loud. Um, Kyoto. Why is it start Transmission. Button? Automatic transmission. Car select. Nissan GTR. Upgrade your car. Nitrix. Body. Bud, 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 body. Sports boy. And en en engine. Engine. Again, we have a lot of credits except the free play, so we might as well boost up. Let's see now, because again, this one. Yeah, see, this is a game. You can see here. See, she's supposed to be in animation. We're stuck. So right now the, the race isn't gonna start because something happened within the game. Very odd. I'm gonna escape out. 
and I'm gonna do it one more time. This was probably the one I was talking about. Um, again, you, it's not a computer thing. It's don't think it's the PC because this PC is, is balls to the wall. It's just as you can see, even like PS3 and Xbox, not all games will work as the emulation is not right. So. Choose a tr automatic transmission. This is the one, like I said, I couldn't tell if it was the car I was picking or if it was the add-ons I was doing. So like, I won't go crazy with the add-ons. Let's see. I couldn't tell if it was the map. No, see? She doesn't move, that's it. This is all brick. Ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm telling you, I got into one race. Uh, again, I can't tell if it's because the map I'm picking, the car I'm picking, the upgrades I'm picking. Uh, again, it's just it's mind-boggling. Now, also, some of you might be saying, hey, Vic, you keep picking automatic. You could do manual. Again, I'll show you the Techno Parry thing. New England. I'm just trying to get into a game a right now. Automatic. Choose a car. Ford Mustang GT. Upgrade select. n 2 then it's like part of me is like, am I going too fast? Or should I slow down? But let's see. I'm not skipping this. No. I'm telling you, I got into one game and she had like a big black box around her. I'll do it one more time. I, I'm upset because I know I got into one game, but this in all honesty is what a customer is going to, you know, see. And I don't want them to think that any system is 100% foolproof. It never is. Let's do this. Pick a track. San Francisco. Pick a trans automatic transmission. Pick a car. ZR1. I'm not going to do any Choose add -ons. an upgrade. Time to ride. No. Why'd you see her? That's it. So, like I said, I know I got this game to work once. Uh, as you can see, it's not perfect. Uh, let's we'll stick with the with the racing ones, I guess. So Ford Racing, I'm gonna hold down A. So again, I'm using the Xbox controller right now. In all honesty, with Techno Power, there's probably three or four games that use actual arcade sticks. Um, the rest are really mouse um, games and uh, Xbox controller games. So using the steering wheel. Modern. SVT Cobra. Oh, I picked manual. Okay. Track selected. I'm gonna see. I don't know what buttons let's we have race. assigned, but let's see. So. Okay, so you can see the, the shifting here. So I'm using it's the right side. Take a drop. Yeah. So again, automatic does work, manual does work. Wow. I wasn't even paying attention.
<laughs> I feel bad because I just took first place, but screw it, it's a game. Alright, next one we'll do is grid. Uh, I'll do grid. I really want to do maybe a couple initial D games. Because um, honestly, that's a very popular arcade game. Um, so let's check this one out. So uh, you could use the steering wheel to basically choose your track. You got the Supra. And I said, remember, this area should be a little bit brighter than the screen because I noticed that you couldn't see my arcade sticks. I think this game originally, really with this emulation, it's really a PC game because I do have grid. Um, it's just weird because like the camera angle change is actually pause. It's, it's very weird. Um, so I'm gonna go like that. So again, steering wheel. Keyboard. Let's do uh, initial D. You even have like H2O overdrive. This is pretty cool too. Um, might as well launch it. It's gonna be a long video for Techno Power, basically. <laughs> So again, just try to think all the driving games will use the Xbox controller. That's where, you know, for the far, far future, I'm hoping to do driving games on a real driving simulator type of setup with the steering wheel and such. Um, as you can see, I'm not that great at fighting games and apparently I'm not that great at driving games. Um, I try to do it realistic, like I try not to bump into people, but as you can see, that was just a total failure, so. So this is H2O Overdrive. This is Hydro Thunder. H2O Overdrive. This game runs well. So again, yeah, this is literally pressing start. This is literally Hydro Thunder. That was what was really cool about it. And again, you can always change the settings on what button does what. I'll do that in a separate video. It's very easy, honestly. So we got X to do the boost. Oh, 
basically people are just crashing into me. Okay, we just legit hold down the boost button. Hydro Thunder, very cool game. Again, escaping out on the keypad, on the keyboard, brings you back to the screen. Uh, so next up, we'll look at the initial D games. Uh, so there's five of them in total. You got D5, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five of them. There's D4, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Um, so let's just load up one. Let's try this D5. So long pressing on A, basically presses enter. Again, in the background right now, you can see we are able to move around with hyperspin, um, but we're just gonna let it do its thing. Again, there's so many programs launching in the background. We're just gonna let it do its thing. And I think we have an error. Looks like it didn't launch. Go back. So initial D5. Try it again. So no, looks like that's a no go. Let's see if initial D4 will launch. So again, some of these games are actually like Patreon games. Um, so, you know, depends on if I got the right ROM, it might bypass it, but let's see what happens. So we do have the mouse, we always move the mouse around. So as you can see, like these, these games in real life, it had like an automatic steering wheel. Um, so while it does initialize, I do tend to like just, you know, press the gas and the brake because it might actually be in the background needing to read numbers just like how you saw with Fast and the Furious. So, you know, just do it once or twice. Need to clean, like we don't have this. Okay, holding start button and press start to start. Press the view button to cancel, so view is Y. It's not really that. In all honesty, this is a real arcade game. It's really calibrated to the steering wheel. Um, so this is the kind of game that's really a drifting game. Very sensitive. I'm not even. I'm not even letting up on the gas.
type of game, like in all honesty, I think if you had a real steering wheel, and as you can see, like if I gently, just gently roll the steering wheel, it, it's like a real drift. Whereas if I go like left and right, you can see the car kind of goes chaotic. That's initial D. We'll escape out. Um, let's just see another one. I think I was trying it, but that's the thing about these games. Remember, uh, you know, most of these are from Japan. So we're gonna load up this D8. And we're gonna see. So basically the, the thing about like, I think this one that I tried is like, I think it asked if I was online. It, there's a lot of wording going on. And unfortunately, I don't know if I, I, I can't read it obviously. Um, so you can see here, like basically something's making it look like we actually have an IP address that says online. And again, we're just going to let it go. And like I said, as you can see here, we can move our mouse, just move it out of the way. So now again, just like I know for a fact, like I have an actual Fast and Furious arcade. When you do reboot, it actually like the wheels actually turning. So I just kind of just do this a couple of times. I just kind of, you know, roll the wheel, I'll hold down the gas pedal and such. And you're gonna see like some, I think this one's gonna give me a, a big red and we just don't know what it's like this. I have no idea what that says. I just press the view button to get out of that. Again, it's something you literally just like, when you are actually playing these games, you just kind of see that it works. Uh, so here's, again, I can't read Japanese, so I'm not too sure what this says. This one I can see it's about a card. We don't have a card. I'm gonna be a boy. I'm a big Nissan freak. I've actually had a 370Z. So, some of you guys are like, why do you keep this picking Nissan? I do like my Nissan, so. Let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna go with the white one. Automatic. So here it gets a little sketchy because I don't know what a 1v1, 2v2, I'm gonna do one. So this, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna just try this. That's obviously night and day, we could see that. So now here's the thing though with this one, um, I think I can't tell if the game crashed, but we're gonna just let this go for a minute. Cause it says that it's loading, but the music stopped. So again, a lot of trial and error. That's why, you know, I do like to test, um, you know, for me to put it on this list, I get past the boot screen and I automatically put it in. Um, but you could see like, you know, there we go, so we actually have an error out. So, well, actually no, I'm gonna let this go for a minute. Let's just see what's happening with this. So like I see this, I see the, like, you know, this big list, we saw this list before, we kind of let it go. Literally at the camera, I'm gonna give it 30 more seconds. If that doesn't move, then I'm gonna call it as a no-go for this D8. But again, like, as you can see, the game launched and you know, it just shows you that the emulation is just not perfect just yet. And again, Technopart is the current emulator that like, you know, people are working on it. So the big thing is that we got the ROM, but it looks like Technopart is not reading it. So right now I'm calling it 30 seconds past on the camera and I'm just gonna exit out. So escape key on it. Do uh, one more. Oh, Mario Kart was a cool one. Let's do Mario Kart. There it is. So Mario Kart, um, it's very funny with Mario Kart. Um, when I first got this, it was in Japanese. Then they made an update for English. Um, so the wording on it and such was actually in English. Um, so it's pretty cool and such. So let's load this one up. I played this one, so this works. I've definitely played it, it was pretty cool to play.
So I remember when this first ROM came out, that, that camera thing was a big issue. You had to go into a lot of settings just to kind of disable that. It looks like they did, you know, something to do it uh, to fix it. But for right now, this is actually loading up. And again, I've played this. This is actually a very cool game. This is the type of game, same thing with the initial D, same thing with like the Fast and Furious, as you saw the ones that worked. Um, you know, to have a driving cab is really awesome for these. And you could configure it. You go into Techno Parrot, you do controller setup, and it's very easy to set up. It's, it's really easy. Steering wheel. I'm gonna put my man Mario, obviously. I'm gonna bob with the volume. So again, this was all in Japanese. They never had the writing for this, so. So this is actually looking for local connections. Um, I've seen this in um, the arcade. There was five of these lined up next to each other so you could race five people. So again, just gotta let it go through this thing. So, X is going to be the use button. I don't know what I put on that person, but... What am I going to do with this? <laughs> Ooh. Almost there. Oh, I, I threw it. Oh, almost hit that tornado. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you gonna do with this hammer? <laughs> oh, oh, big, big, big finish. Someone's gonna pull up right next to me. Wow, alright. <laughs> So again, really cool. Mario Kart definitely works. That was awesome. Very cool game on that one. Definitely enjoyed this one. And it looked like there was like 50 races, so this one definitely is a keeper. So I'm right now gonna escape out. That was cool, that was a good one. So Mario Kart is good to go. Oh, Sega. Oh. Let's do that. Star Wars Battle Pod is a very popular game. Very cool, this does work. Again, you do need the Xbox controller. I'm gonna have to do a two-part Techno Power video. <laughs> so this one again is Star Wars Battle Pod. It's really cool, even how they have the actual screen right here. This is actually like vortex in, like a GoPro 360 camera. Uh, very cool. here so it's a bit of a steering wheel using R2 to select I think that's the actual shoot button um, again a game like this had like two sticks and there's button on the sticks but it's very cool you can see how the camera is so this is an actual arcade cockpit game you would sit inside of a cockpit so A is the throttle Brake, control, up and down. Lock S foil to attack position. Accelerate to attack speed. Here they come. So R2 is going to be to shoot. Go. Can I just hold down the shoot button? Good. Oh. Oh, he did the gun. something just now. <laughs> Very cool. I mean, this right here, awesome game. I'm not a Star Wars fan, but this, this is actually definitely entertaining. Remember, the force will be with you. Very cool. Definitely cool. Graphics are awesome on it. Awesome stuff. I'm going to escape out. Uh, Wacky Races is a pretty funny game too. Again, I'm gonna have to do a two-part video for Techno Power. This will be just strictly driving games. Uh, the most common driving game, game, Fast and the Furious, that people do recognize and notice. And as you can see, we did test all those. Wacky Races is a very cartoon game. Um, there was a cartoon, an actual Nickelodeon racing game, but 
I don't think that's on um, Techno Parrot, unfortunately. So coin button is my select. Start is start. So I last time was... The mop. So when I first did this, I thought there was an issue with the screen. Uh, apparently not. As you can see now, we are on full screen. And again, gas is on the A. Steering. This was a lot in this game. I you kept getting this like slot machine thing, and if I just spam X, it just it just kept like launching it. So again, I don't really know what this game looked like in the arcade, but it's like I have an endless amount of coins for this uh, slot machine thing. It's very odd, but. Pretty cool, again, another driving game. Symbol for the kids, the kids who definitely enjoy this one. So like I said, I'm literally pressing X and I'm just launching this slot machine thing. Not too sure again what it does, but... And I can't even tell if my power-ups are even doing anything. So let's not launch this yet, let's see what happens. So I have this, what am I gonna do with this now? Do I shoot it? Yes, okay, I shot it. <laughs> I shot it at nobody. So we got the oil slick next. So I'm gonna drop it right in the middle of the road. So I'm getting mad coins. Like I said, that's the thing I learned about this game, just spam the X button and just keep dropping stuff and spin the wheel. So that one again is Wacky Races. Again, cartoon Winner! game. Very cool. We're gonna escape out. Let's see what other game as far as driving just to close this. Midnight Maximum. This game was garbage. This Valve, this Valve R Limit. That was dumb. That was a dumb game. Uh, Battle Gear was a good game. Um, let's just do one more. Let's see. A Midnight Maximum Tune. I believe this was a, a new release. Um, again, I, I just go on a website and I, I just download these. So let's just see what happens. But not too bad. You, can, you saw like H2 Overdrive. So we got the boat racing game. Again, Techno Pirate, although it's a pain in the ass, um, when it works, it works great. I'm gonna reset my record, hold on. Okay. So again, oh crap, damn it. <laughs> All right, we're going Mitsubishi, screw it. Says, unless you're gonna be Japanese, kudos. I wanted to be 
make the GTR. Damn it. Talking shit, you should talk on me. <laughs> oh, just put it right in I'm gonna really end it on that one. So a lot of driving ones on this one. If you do see a driving game, oh, let's see actually. This game was pretty cool too, Chase HQ. Let me see how much time I have left on my camera as this loads up. I got 10 minutes left on the camera, so we will play this one. This is Chase HQ. This is actually a really uh, pretty cool game. Very interesting game. You're a police officer taking down cars. So same thing, using the Xbox controller. We add our coins with the select. This is Nancy. We have an emergency. I'll show you the latest intel now. You literally like destroy this car. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, interesting concept of a game. So I chase HQ2. I think the one last one I want to show you guys was possibly Outrun. <coughs> Lower that. Uh, Daytona, I have this set up as an actual PC game. Um, so it definitely works. And I have it actually underneath the PC um, wheel. Uh, let's see if we can get Outrun. This GTI Club was very random. Uh, it works, it's just a random game. Elemental key. Nope. Probably end it with this game. So yeah, I'm gonna make another video with Techno Parrot as far as shooters and the arcade sticks. This one strictly a driving going on in this one.
Racing on Techno Paradise. 